Okay, then he runs. Here we are connecting one manually wire of 10 meters in between A and C positions on the wire plank. From A nut we are connecting battery, from there we are connecting rheostat, from there we are connecting plug B, e. from there we are connecting C. Here A and C are the nuts in between that we are connecting. But the importance of rheostat is adjusting the current. Battery is giving a particular amount of current only. Below that if you want to adjust up to minute level, not possible. For that purpose we are using rheostat. Again, from here what we are taking two cells connecting. Which cells are MS or S1 and S2, we want to find it. That only we are connecting. So, two way key. Two way key is what? It is having two directions. Okay, na? we will send to 1 to 3 or 2 to 3, our wish. Like the two way key. We are connecting to galvanometer and the jockey. First, we are keeping jockey at A position and C position. Right. After keeping jockey at A position and C position, if we get if we get deflections deflections in the galvanometer in the galvanometer in opposite directions in opposite directions then only our connections are correct then only our connections are correct Then only our connections are correct. Next problem. By using two way key, by using two way key, by using two way key, we are sending electric current. We are sending electric current from epsilon one cell. From epsilon one cell, from epsilon one cell, keeping jogging, keeping jogging at various positions, at various positions, from A to C, from A to C, at a particular point. At a particular point, galvanometer showing, galvanometer showing, null deflection, null deflection. This A N one equal to L one. This A N one equals to L one. Balancing length. Balancing length of the first cell of the first cell at this position at this position net EMF of net EMF of battery battery and epsilon 1 cell and epsilon 1 cell are acting clockwise and anti clockwise clockwise and anti clockwise equally equally so net emf is zero so net EMF is zero. Due to this null deflection comes in the galvanometer. Due to this null deflection comes in the galvanometer. Null deflection comes in the galvanometer. Next paragraph. Right? Epsilon one is proportional to L one. Epsilon 1 is proportional to L1. Similarly, similarly, we are sending, similarly, we are sending electric current, electric current 
from epsilon to cell from, from epsilon to cell by using two way key by using two way key and finding and finding corresponding balance length is corresponding balance length is L2 L2 Make sure that epsilon 2 is proportional to L2 epsilon 2 is proportional to L2 This implies epsilon 1 by epsilon 2 equal to L1 by L2 epsilon 1 by epsilon 2 equal to L1 by L2 In this way In this way We are comparing them We are comparing them EMFs of the two cells EMFs of the two cells By using By using Potentiometer Potentiometer Okay, one reason Also we are introducing all these cells And the then transforming balancing is finding Epsilon is proportional to L1. Again, what I am doing here by opening K, sending current from resistance box of speed. In this case, so current going from this and this also. And then they have other voltage V. Corresponding balance is L2. Epsilon by V equal to L1 by L2. Okay, no? Epsilon is not current going from external and internal also. So, capital is small R into I. Similarly, V equal to R I. This potential of whole length of the resistance. Now, I cancel. Kaplan's by Kaplan plus smaller by Kaplan. R I cancel. One plus smaller by Kaplan equal to L1 by L2. Smaller by Kaplan equal to L1 by L2 minus 1. Smaller equal to Kaplan equal to L1 by L2 minus 1. First we are introducing R and O. First one in balance is L1 by L2 by L2 by L2. One R by L2 by L2. Again two are wrong. Like that. Six other reasons you take. We are getting six smaller values after we are finding average internal distance on the cell. So that is the process. For finding internal extent of the cell. All right. I showed in the figure. I showed in the figure. We are connecting. We are connecting all the instruments. All the instruments. As shown in the previous week, as shown in the previous week, from A to, from A to, plug key, and resistance box, and resistance box, similarly, from A to, one cell of EMF epsilon of EMF epsilon this resistance box this resistance box and negative terminal of the cell and negative terminal of the cell connected to connected to galvanometer and jockey and jockey next slide first we are introducing first we are introducing only cell only cell And corresponding balancing length, balancing length, L1 binding, L1 binding, here, epsilon is proportional to L1, epsilon is proportional to L1, similarly, Similarly, 
Similarly, we are sending, we are sending electric current from the resistance box also, from the resistance box also, from the resistance box also. By using K, by using K to P, by using K to P, so in the resistance box, in the resistance box, capital R resistance introduced, capital R resistance introduced, in the resistance box, capital R resistance introduced. The potential difference is the potential difference is V V corresponding balancing length corresponding balancing length L2 binding L2 binding here V is proportional to L2 here V is proportional to L2 here B is proportional to L2. Okay, on that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the same thing. Okay, on that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the same thing. Quick. Right? By changing the Kaplan value, by changing capital value, corresponding, corresponding, smaller value measuring, smaller value measuring, and taking six observations, and taking six observations, after finding, after finding, effective internal resistance of a cell. Effective internal resistance of a cell. By changing capillar value, corresponding smaller values measuring after six observations, after six observations, finding average internal resistance smaller. Average internal resistance smaller. 